Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your Labor Day weekend extended into Monday. And on this Labor Day, President Obama is paying tribute to America's working men and women. He penned an open letter to unions and labor groups, as well as civil rights and community organizations across the country. And he says, in part, sold right now in head shops and online as a supplement will soon have the same illegal status as heroin, LSD, and ecstasy. But now, at low doses, Kratom can act like a stimulant, alert, heightening alertness. But then at higher doses, it's a sedative, producing opioid-like effects that dull pain. The DEA says at least 15 deaths have been linked to Kratom since 2014. Well, there have been several twists and turns regarding the Colin Kaepernick controversy over the weekend. And now, President Obama speaking out about the Congress at the top of the hour on this Labor Day. Good morning to you. It's good to see you. I'm Lynn Smith in for Robin Mead. And let's begin with what's left of Tropical Storm Hermine. Overnight, a tropical storm warning for New York City was canceled. Still some concerns there. So let's go to CNN's Brit Jane Graphic Bureau is now taking a knee in solidarity with Colin Kaepernick. Coy, let's talk about this. This is actually um, one of the stars of the U.S. women's soccer team. So what is she saying? What's, what is she yeah. taking a stand on? Uh, she's joining him in not standing, kneeling during the national anthem Megan Rapino, as you mentioned one of the stars of the U.S. women's national team in last year's 25th 50 to 40. Look at those fans they are already in the spirit so are we. <laughs> All right college football is back. Coy yes. thank you so You're much. Welcome. Well, how are you spending your Labor Day? If you're shopping, we have found some deals waiting for you. We'll have them ahead. And 